In this video, I'm going to teach you how to be a highly paid consultant, mentor, or teacher. There's a lot of stuff on the internet about you know people who teach people how to make money or people who mentor folks on how to make money. But there's not a lot of stuff online about how to become one of those highly paid people. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu. Be sure to go below and get those free 19 business courses. And if you're ready to start a business this weekend, get how to start a business in 24 hours. All right, let's jump into this video. It's going to be hot, 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 hot. The first step to becoming a highly paid consultant, a highly paid mentor, a highly paid trainer or teacher is you pick your clients. They don't pick you. First step, and I'm gonna go ahead and break it down like it's never been broken. If you have a process that works and benefits people that you can repeat, duplicate, and teach people how to do it, you're an effective trainer. Now, the big debate on us will be is what you want to charge. Are your services worth that? That's the big debate. If you could teach somebody how to lift a barbell, throw a ball, I mean, actually some of the highest paid athlete trainers are these guys who teach quarterbacks who are leaving college on how to play pro style balls seven figures so if you've got those type of skills you're a teacher you're a trainer you're a mentor now the money this is where everyone seems to have an opinion and I'm gonna say this if anyone is going on and on and on about teachers trainers mentors as quote that's not a real business then more than likely on some level it's something that they want to do but don't have the courage the talent or tried and fail because anytime that you can help someone go from one place to another improve their lives improve their business improve whatever they're doing that's an amazing thing. That's a worthy occupation. It is a worthy occupation. And typically online, you don't really have haters. What you have is people who hate how you and what you're doing makes them feel, which is usually inferior, inadequate, or impotent. So I'm just putting that out there because if you wanna be a trainer, go for it if you want to charge a million bucks an hour bring your value level up in the world and someone will pay you a million bucks an hour this is the abundant world that we live in so now that I got that out the way let's jump into the core of becoming a trainer first thing is you gotta know your craft you gotta know your craft I mean that that is job number one now if someone says hey X amount of person is a trainer, but they're an inept trainer, that's a different conversation. But if someone says, hey, someone's a trainer, these trainers, these internet guys, they shouldn't be making money, teaching people success, you should give it away for free. These people don't seem to understand that if you are a student, you're a guru, you're a sensei, you're very, very strong in your craft, that is usually something that has come by hours tens of thousands of hours i've got twenty thousand hours of time invested in youtube learning putting up videos talking twenty thousand plus over the last seven years and i have even more hours put into running a physical product store and business now you got to put the time in you got to put the work in number one if you're going to mentor or train someone, you should be able to get great results for yourself. Number one, you should be able to get, now let's go with money. There are people who can teach an executive. Say you are an executive, you built this company, you're making $10 million, then you hire someone 
and you're paying them maybe 50,000 and they help you make another two or three million. But this person doesn't make 10 million. Depending upon the industry, depending upon what you do, that's common. Your employees who help you, if, if you're a business owner, who help you make millions, they don't make as much as you do, but they help you make millions. So this notion of they gotta make just as much money or more money to help you is a misnomer, it's false, and this is what I call poor people politics. Everyone wants to, who is poor or doesn't have it, have these wonderful assumptions which are usually downgraded on how rich people live and spend their money. I live in Sandy Springs, Dunwoody, Brook, Brook, Buckhead area of Atlanta. I've been there for the last seven years. I have neighbors who have Ferraris, Porsche, who pay cash. I well, you can easily run into quote a millionaire having lunch, and I'm gonna tell you something. Rich people spend money on fancy shit. There is a group of rich people who are very conservative, and there's a group of rich people who will spend a million dollars a year on vacations, cars, and will do it until they die because they're that rich. Get the fuck over it. Get over it. You cannot have what you don't, what you hate. And all of this rich hate is keeping you from getting more money in your life. This whole thing of the millionaire next door, this average, is just to make you feel better about your low expectations. Get over it. Raise your expectations. Stop assuming. Stop hoping that you know the path. You, you're not going to save your way to wealth. It's not going to happen. You're going to earn your way to wealth. You're going to innovate your way to wealth. You're going to create your way to wealth. You may invest your way to wealth, but you are not going to save your way to wealth. Let that fantasy go. Now, with that training. You gotta be super strong in your craft, super strong in what you want to mentor. And that's gonna take more than likely a few years for you to get to that knowledge level. That's just reality. So if you know that you wanna be a trainer, now the thing is you can start now and you can develop a good base of knowledge maybe in six months to a year. And you can start to train and charge people from that base. but you're not gonna be able to get the big dollars. Now, there are some people who have programs who will teach you to go from broke Dick Danny to, or from penniless Priscilla, and you know, you're know you this $100,000 consultant overnight. There are programs like that, there are people doing it. Now, this is the thing, it's not gonna last. Because see, this is what I know about business. Once your talent level is truly earned and you've built it, it's very hard to tear it apart. I'll give you an example. I've had trolls since day one on YouTube. I've had people doing all kind of crazy stuff, spreading lies, going in the forums, saying all this crazy stuff, right? And at one point I made a mistake responding to them then I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna do me, and I've kept going. And recently I looked at a lot of the trolls. Most of them are gone. Most of them that had YouTube channels, they stopped posting. Uh, the ones who still do, they really haven't grown a significant fan base for their time on YouTube. They don't get a lot of views because they don't have the talent to do this. But see, this is the thing. I invested in becoming better, they invested in becoming worse. What you, where you spend your time and where you invest your time is where you're gonna shine. So, after all of those attacks and all of that bullshit, I'm still here, but not only am I still here, I grew. I've grown significantly. This channel is probably gonna get 20,000 plus new subscribers this year. To put that in proper perspective, it took me five years to get 20,000 subscribers. Five. So, growth, and that's the thing. Once you become really strong in your craft, it's very hard for someone to fuck with you. Now, another thing that you have to do is spend money on training. Didn't expect that. There's a lot of great trainers online, there's a lot of great groups, and what you need to do is start spending money and learning the art of training and mentoring. See, it's like, um, 
Michael Jordan, I'm gonna give you a great example. Michael Jordan, argumentally, no, there's no argument. Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. He is a horrible coach, trainer, mentor. Horrible, okay? Doc Rivers, great player, but not the greatest player. Steve Kerr, great player, not the greatest player. Both those players went from playing to coaching multiple NBA championships. And I'm already giving Steve Kerr the second one because they were great players, but they're better coaches. So just because you are strong in your craft and you're really, really good and you've made a lot of money, you're probably, you could be a horrible teacher, a horrible trainer. It's one thing to have concepts, it's another to teach concepts. So you got a guy who might be a beast in the gym, but he could not f train anyone for shit. Then you've got someone who is fat, but they went to school, they've studied uh, working out, and they can get your ass in shape in 90 days. This is real talk, but many people are taught to go for the fantasy versus the substance. Uh, when I used to work out, if you've been a power lifter guy in Georgia, you know about Coffee's Gym. When it, you know, oh, Coffee's been around forever. Cough, John Coffee, he does not look like the Incredible Hulk, but John Coffee can train your ass to greatness. He really can. He doesn't look that strong. You know, he is strong, but he's a great trainer. He's put together a culture. He's still around. He's still got his gym. I mean, this is the old school powerlifting group. So this whole notion of you got to look a certain way or be a certain way to effectively train someone is bullshit. Once again, this is said by people who've tried to be trainers and failed. Yep, that's right. Start investing in training. This is typically where most people struggle. I'm a member of several groups and I see people who have courses, who have a certain level of expertise. And the thing is, you need the expertise and you need the expertise on how to create courses. I actually went through that myself and I'm straightening it out because one of the problems I had was I was accepting customers and I wasn't picking customers. And once I started picking customers, the results, the income, everything changed. Everything changed. And this isn't one of those, well, you know, Glenda don't want to work with me because uh, he thinks he's better than me. No, it's nothing like that. Many of us are not where we want to be to do the things that we want to do. Meaning you got work to put in. And this is one of the reasons I put up the best online business and the how to start a business playlist is you got to get started because let's say five years ago you wanted to learn woodworking and you never did if you had started five years and ago stay with it you might have a skill set that you could teach but you thought about doing it but you never did it and these are typically the people who are the most ardent haters and dissenters and well you know uh, teaching people and being a mentor that's not a real job Let's see, call me crazy, but last time I checked, if you got a check and made money from it, it was real. I don't know about you, but when I get my monthly statements and my recurrent payment, I, I swear it feels and looks real. I don't know about you, but it, it just feels that way. So it is a real profession, it's a real service. But once again, due to the internets, and you, you have people who have amazing goodwill. They will put out a service and they will help people and they will not charge. That's on them. There are people who have amazing programs, amazing YouTube channels, amazing blogs, and they're very helpful. The information they get is practical. It is actionable. And then the people are like, well, this per well, that's their choice. That's their choice. And see, that's the thing. Everyone's all about choice until that choice impacts them. It's their choice. Like if you want to give away your amazing content for, for free, 
awesome. That's not my decision. I give away a ton of content for free and the better stuff I charge for. That's just the reality of the situation. And you have people who seem to think there's a problem with that because they can't do it. I'm gonna tell you a story of a hater, of someone who is disgusting and vile. I don't mention their name because I don't wanna give them any free publicity. But I will say this, I went back before I did this video and I checked up on them because I haven't looked at them in a long time. Miserable, not doing well, just isn't working out for them. Because the investment in fuckery should have been an investment in being great, being better. Uh, where you invest your time is where you're going to shine. And many people just don't believe that. So understand, if you want to make a lot of money doing consulting online, you can. But there's a process. There's a few steps. There's a few things you need to do. And the first question you should ask yourself and be honest is, would you hire yourself to do what you want to do? And if you pause, that's your answer. If it's not a definitive, hell yeah. Damn Skippy, my shit's awesome. If you're not singing like that and you're not feeling like that and it's not your energy and it's not this enthusiasm, keep learning what you want to learn to teach. Go out, pay someone to teach you how to do something, then put your heart and your soul in it because one of the things about the world, and I think it's great, is you can take something very simple and turn it into something very elegant and profitable if you do it in a manner that other people aren't doing it or you have the courage to build something that other people will laugh at. Great example of something that was built that people laughed at, Amazon.com. Many analysts still like talk junk about it. So understand, you've got a choice. You, you, you have a choice. Now, another thing that you need to do is set some goals. Get yourself a notebook and write down what you want to achieve. I want to be a health coach. And this is the truth. If being a health coach and you don't have a lot of experience means you may have to put in a year, two, three, four, five, six, or 10 years gaining that experience to be a health coach or a nutritionist or a herbalist or someone who's good with meditation or it's you've got to put in time and I will tell you as someone who meditates I have seen people pay big money for retreats and I got a client who's going to a retreat and I know someone who spent 25,000 to go to this meditation retreat to be with her peeps and felt it was some of the best money that she ever spent that she ever spent so i'm just telling you it's about creating a level of excellence in your craft first and then becoming a mentor a coach a teacher a trainer that's the order it should go in and many of y'all are trying to become a coach a teacher trainer and get that excellent money before you have the excellence in your craft and that is just butt ass backwards i don't care what the internet's told you i don't care about uh you know you can create this course it's in your heart once again the template is would you hire you would you that was kind of crazy would you pay the kind of money that you want to earn to yourself because if the answer is yes then go for it if the answer is no you got work to do now I'm gonna help you out with that now one of the things that you can do to get a better clue to how you should teach someone and how you should set your training up is to start to consume the training of others. One of the things that any writing coach will tell you, to be a better writer, you need to read more. Well, to be a better trainer, 
you need to invest in yeah your com your competition's courses you, you need to know what they're doing you need to know how they're training and it's like okay well what are they missing what can i do differently what can i bring to the table that's more effective that's how you win not hoping wishing and hating that's how you win all right so be sure to go below the video and i've got something new because i'm going to start training people on how to build platforms not a course see a website or a course is good but you're going to need more in the future because what will happen is you'll have this amazing course right it'll do well you'll go on podcast you'll do articles you'll be interviewed then your stuff will be everywhere then people will buy it and then people will hack your stuff and they'll do it better and then your course is going to lose effectiveness but if you build a platform oh it, that's a lot more powerful so that's one of the things that i'm going to be teaching people how to do like i said i got a client and digital citizen we're going to do that and some other stuff and there's a wait list below now i'm going to tell you how this list works when i start opening up or have openings i'll hit you up but you want to get on that list all right all right